Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working on the person application. Now you can see here that I've made a couple changes to this application. I added a list box called list people which will store uh, instances of the person object so that we can add a whole bunch of people to our program. And I added a button called new person and I just rearranged the buttons over here uh, on the right side and the name property for new person is button add person so what I also did is I added an update all sub which just calls all three update income update weight and update money so now what we need to do is we need to come down here and we need to create an array list to store all of our people so we'll do this by typing private my people as new array list. So this is what we're going to use to store all of the people that are created. So now what we need to do is add a method that will um, add people to the array list. So we'll just go ahead and come down here and we will type private sub add person and we will just add uh, by Val the name. So whenever a new person is created they're gonna have to supply us with the name. So by Val name as string or let's just do P name. And we'll go ahead and enter and it'll fill all of this in for us the end sub. And what I also did is over here in the person class just go ahead and create a public variable called name make it of type string and set it equal to nothing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here in form1.vb and whenever they add the person, we're going to declare um, my new person as new person. So now that we've created a new person, we need to set some of the uh, values for it or one of the values. So we'll type my new person dot name equals p name. Okay, so now that we have initialized the name, that's all we need because all of the other values are defaulted, um, assuming that the person like has just been born or something similar to that. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to add that cust uh, add that uh, person to the array list. So we'll type my new person or no we need to type my people dot add and we'll add my new person okay so now that we have our add person sub created it declares a new person it sets their name and then it adds that person to the my people array list so I'll come in here and double click on new person and you can see it creates this button add person uh, click event so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and type input box so this will open up a box and prompt the user to input a value so we'll just go ahead and type uh, the prompt a string so please enter a name for your person and then we'll go ahead and set the title as name and we'll set the default response to John Doe Okay, so now that we have created our input box, we're going to need to s store what they got in a variable. So we'll declare name as string, and we'll set it equal to whatever the input input box gives back to it. So now we need to create a person. So add person, and we'll go ahead and type name right there as the arguments. So whatever they type in the input box it's going to uh, set the name value for the new person and it's going to add them to the array list. Now what we need to do is we need to add that person to a to the list box. So we'll just type list people dot items dot add and we'll just go ahead and add um, my people
So now what we need to do is add that person to our list box. So we'll come back up here to our add person sub and we'll go ahead and type list people dot items dot add and we'll just add my new person dot name. So it's going to add the name uh, of the person. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll bring it down here if it'll stop resizing and we'll go ahead and click new person so now we need to enter a name for our person so I'll just go ahead and uh, enter Sam and then click OK and you can see it adds Sam to our list box so go ahead type this code in uh, if you don't understand what it is you can leave a question uh, in the comments and I'll try to respond to that and uh, make the changes that I showed to you at the beginning and um, maybe even uh, go on by yourself uh, without looking at the next tutorial see if you can learn on your own um, but if not uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial where we are going to be working more on this application and how to access the people the different people that we have stored in our list box so thanks for watching